Hi everyone, my name is Abriel Beckham and I'm the program facilitator for University Bridges. University Bridges is a program created by DeKalb County Government Human Services by the way of Office of Youth Services. The program hosts monthly sessions around DeKalb County encouraging students to further their education after high school. For today's session, we'll be discussing financial aid, grant, scholarship, and borrow money when attending college. What is a financial safety school? A financial safety school is a college that a student will most likely be accepted to and be able to afford. May not be the same for every student due to the factors such as grades, family income, location. For many students, in-state public schools can be a good example of financial safety schools, including community college, two-year public colleges. So this basically means when you guys are applying to college and you're looking for different colleges, you always need to look at a financial safety school. Can you afford to go to college? Can you afford the loans or maybe debt that is going to be after you attend this college? So when you're looking at schools like Yale, Georgia Southern, Georgia State, you always are going to have that financial safety school, one school that you can afford depending on your family income how much money do you make how much money does your parents make what is the location of the school for you to drive back and forth are you gonna need a car for this school what do your grades look like do you meet the qualifications to get into the school so when you're looking at different schools this is something important that you need to remember what is a financial safety school what is it going to take for you to be able to afford the school and get into the school so a lot of people choose a two-year college a two-year community college because that might be their financial safety school for the situation that they're in not saying that you can't get into any school but you'll try the financial safety school and as you while you're in school at that moment you can do your classes and you're able to save money so that you're able to go to your dream school financial aid is available financial aid is something you're going to have to complete when you're attending college if you don't know how to complete financial aid ask your parents ask someone that is that knows a little bit more about college that's able to help you because again financial aid is really important it determines how much money you'll get back so that you can attend school financial aid is free money money, scholarship and grants, borrow money, loans, earn money, work study. So again, free money is scholarship and grants. That is money that you don't have to pay back. You don't have to pay that money back at all. Borrow money is loan. So if you if it costs $20,000 for you to go to school and you only can come up with $5,000, you're going to have to take out loans for the rest of that amount so that you can be able to afford school and earn money. A lot of people do work study in college. Work study is an option. Um, They have jobs on campus that you can work on campus so that you're able to get that money to be able to afford school. Did you know that the FAFSA is one form to fill out to apply for federal grants, loans, and work study? That is something important. Make sure you guys are filling out the FAFSA. When you are applying to school, financial aid and FAFSA are two major things that is going to determine what money you'll get back. Scholarships, billions of dollars to students every year. It's awarded by the colleges, universities, and private organizations, typically based off of merit. For your grants, it's typically funded by the government and or colleges and is based off needs. Can somebody tell me the difference between a scholarship and a grant? Take some time out to do research on those so that you can know the difference. The difference between these two forms is the aid. Again, like we said, most scholarships are merit-based and most grants are need-based. So this means if they're us- grants are usually awarded based off your family's financial situation, so determining if you really need the money. But I would say, of course, go both routes. Scholarships are always good. You, um, you can get a scholarship for almost anything now. So all you have to do is look online, or even if you look on the website, the school's website of schools that you're trying to attend, they have a lot of scholarships there. They have a scholarship for soccer, academics, um, different clubs that you want to be in. So anytime you're looking for scholarships or if you want to apply for for a grant is typically located on that school website of what they have or you can always reach out to me to me email me and I can also do some research for you if you're looking for either one of those routes borrow money like we were just discussing borrow money is those student loans that is money that they're giving you right now to be able to attend school however you do have to pay this back you do have to pay this money back when you graduate this is just not free money like the scholarship and grants those are free money you don't have to pay those back however borrow money you do Borrow money is from the federal government or you can get it from an outside source, a bank, a private 
organization. So sometimes your bank will do a loan for you if you don't want to go through the, if you don't like the options that the FAFSA is giving you or your financial aid is giving you, you can also do an outsource or a private organization for so that you can get that loan. But again, student loans, you do not want to rack up in student loans because again, you have to pay this money back. So if you rack up $200,000 in student loans, when you graduate, you're going to have to pay that $200,000 back. And depending on how long you go with it, you might have to pay interest on that loan. So that is something that you really, really have to keep in mind. Why do student loans exist? Grants and scholarships don't always cover everything. That is true. Again, when you are thinking about your financial safety school, Think about the schools that you can afford, not saying just go to the schools that you can afford. But again, when you graduate, you want to make sure that you aren't so far in debt that you aren't able to pay when you graduate. So those grants and scholarships, if you're going to school and it costs you 20000 and your grant and your scholarship is going to give you 2000 a piece, so that's $4,000, you are still left with $16,000. And you, if you don't want to take out student loans, now you're, you have to figure out how you're going to come up with $16,000 so that you're able to afford school that is twenty. So just keep that in mind that that's when that loan will come in. You can find different loans, multiple loans that, hey, you can get maybe 15000 here and 1000 there or however you want to do, mix and match it. However, but sometimes that is why student loans exist because your grants and scholarships don't always cover your school. Sometimes your parents may not have $16,000 laying around for you to be able to afford school. That is why we give you different options. So if you have any questions or if you're concerned on, you know, the difference between borrow money, loans and grants, or if you have a specific school in mind, you're like, hey, Miss April, I want to go to Savannah State University. What are some scholarships available or how do I get a grant? Feel free to send me an email. Send me an email if you have any questions and I'll be able to answer for you. I can do some research for you. Maybe I can send you guys a list of scholarships that I see right now. I know a lot of schools are waiving their application fee. They might be offering different scholarships. So if you are interested in any of that or you want to know more about scholarships or what you qualify for or how to do FAFSA, how to do financial aid, who can I contact, just send me an email and I can answer all of your questions. And even if you want to talk to me face to face, hey, Miss April, this is a dilemma I'm facing. I want to attend this college, this college, but this is what I'm facing. Which one do you think is a better? We can set up a meeting. We can set up a Zoom conference and we can definitely work out what you're talking about. Because again, furthering your education after high school is very, very important. I will leave my email right here on this PowerPoint. It's going to be abeck underscore abriel at yahoo.com. So if you guys have any questions or if you want to set up a meeting for us to discuss or you just have a quick question, just shoot me an email and I will respond back to it as soon as possible.